Nobody wants to do this. Every pool player wants to step to the table, run 10 racks, get the money, and go blow it at the casino. Yeah, but sometimes we have to take the long way there. Yeah, the balls are all funny for everybody. Yeah, yeah, I hate cheesy quotes, but it's true. Well, they're going to hit it, but making it is a whole different story, and uh, you're pretty much hoping for a roll and, and hoping they don't get safe back on you, and it's just a matter of, you know, the forces working in their way if they actually make it or even just get, a, you know, anything near a safety back on you, but it's not bad. It's not great. I'm giving it a C. Yeah, I have to go for the breakout from the first shot because both the two and the three are in there. Um, and the problem is I'm not at the greatest angle on the on the one ball to break that out. And I miss it, so it's safety time. And a good old kicker and sticker. <laughs> um, your first instinct might be to tell you to kick this lightly, but you have to be careful, man. Something's got to get a rail after making contact, and uh, you should go for that, that two ball to get a rail. So you don't have to worry about it. That brings into play of actually making the two ball in the side pocket, but we'll come to that later. Uh, another thing you have to think about here is we need to free up that three ball because if you get a perfect safety here and get ball in hand on the two, and then now you're back to ha needing to break out the three seven if you don't break them out. So, uh, yeah, you're trying to do a lot of things at once here, and it can get a little bit complicated. And let's say you get ball in hand on the two, and you miss the breakout, or you just get bad on the three, and now you're back to playing safety, and you're going to bore the fans. You don't want to bore the fans. I mean, the fans are paying your bills. Uh, yeah. Well, looks pretty good from here. Let's step back a little bit and see the whole picture. Well, if you get my hand, you're out. You should be easily. And you, well, you took a lot of angles away from him, or I did, we did. Um, and you can't directly. I mean, the seven's in a way here, even from a straight in kick on that left hand side rail. Right. So that's the angle they're going to go for, and because they're coming up short of the angle, they're going to put a lot of left on this, and at least just try to hit the ball. Making it's pretty much out of the picture, but they don't want to give you ball on the hand. So this shot would have worked, but I shot it too hard for the English to take off the round, like a dummy, but it was pretty good. I think I'm giving it a B-. minus. Oh yeah.
Here's an issue where I tried to go to rails and back on the other side of the two ball, and if I had managed to do that, I'd be out. The problem is the three ball, and you're better off here just putting the top on this and going all the way down the table and shooting the two in the side. It's what I should have done, but I thought I could get around that three. I was wrong, and we wind up getting bad on the two ball. All right, so the seven's block in the corner pocket for, you know, that shot. So we're playing a safety here, and the plan is to try to uh, get it froze up to the nine ball. And that's what you should worry about and spend less time worrying about where the two ball's going because no matter where the two ball went, if you're frozen up to the nine ball, uh, you're going to play a great safety and make it really difficult on your opponent. You gave him an easy kick, I'm giving it a C-. minus. This one here is a lot like um, the one in the other safety video. I don't have enough of an angle to do it that way, so we're going to try a different way. And I'm trying to get the cue ball up under the uh, 6 and the 8, but it doesn't quite work. I shot it too soft, and it's, it's not bad. He can't go to the left route right, like I'm showing you, but he can go to the right route right because of that gap. Um, but it's all good if he makes it because the 6 and the 8 is tied up and he's going to have trouble breaking that out. I went ahead and tried to kick. My kick is up. Um, so he's got ball on hand. And I guess, you know, he could do it on that 5 ball, but it's still difficult for him. So, you know, you didn't hand him the world on the platter, but you made it difficult at least. Yeah, it wasn't great. I'm giving it a C. This is about how well I did in high school. You need to put more focus and energy into it, John. You can do it. Alright, how does one screw up a simple gravy eight ball run out? And I'm going to show you. And quit acting like you never did it. Yeah, that, that, the balls broke good, but that wasn't my, my best break in the world. Now, take note of how all the solid balls are up table, except kind of that one ball's at mid table. But uh, yeah, we're taking the stripes here because there's three stripes right by the eight ball to get right on. I don't see anything tied up, dude. Now, I had to be a little bit. I had to slow roll that ball just to get around what looks like a six ball. And five ball could be an issue to see what happens. Oh yeah, see that's where I get bad. I still have that 12 ball up table. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, so let's see what we do here. Yeah, that should have been a pretty easy out. It wasn't super great. The 12 ball was making it a little bit tough. It's taking, a, uh, taking a while here. It's the longest you'll ever see me take. Um, this looks good, folks. That looks good. It's so hard to play a good safe in April because, look, he's got seven balls to fire. Oh, man. <clears throat> 
Yeah, is it, you know, I'm giving that a B. 